Hey, welcome back to Two Stupid Guys Trade Stocks. I'm Dylan. And I'm Vinny. And we are going to talk about, is it time to maybe increase the cash position and sell some some holdings, all right? There's multiple variables that are happening in the market. I, full disclosure, am selling a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit. We're going to look at why and what. <laughs> Two stupid guys trade stocks. All right. So this happened over the weekend, right? This is obviously not ideal. We're not going to get into the news portion of this, but it seems like we we may be okay, right? It it says uh, you know Iran uh, told the UN that it's concluded. We might be okay. Um, I don't trust that a lot. I don't have a lot of weight into that. Um, but hey, could be great. So that's obviously what we're hoping for. Um, the VIX, which is, it's kind of like the fear index. You're familiar with the VIX? Yeah, absolutely. It's All pretty right. low right now too, which is crazy. Yeah, we had one spike up. You know, it's that's it's not super crazy. We've been low for a while. I, I put this graph in going all the way back like two years. So you could see we were much higher before, mm -hmm. right? So, you know, not, not too crazy. There is some weird stuff that's happening that usually happens before a crash, I guess you could say. Um, this is one of them. This was kind of crazy. Uh, one of St. Louis's tallest towers, which initially fetched $205 million in 2006, just sold for $3.6 million. We went from $140 a square foot to $2.50 a square foot. Um, absolutely wild because there are houses in California that cost more than this that people are buying and you could have built an entire tower. Not yeah, built, but absolutely. bought. Homes around me cost more than $2.50 a square foot, which is bananas. Yeah. I wouldn't mind living in a tower like that. I agree. This would be a pretty awesome place to call home, right? Um, yeah, so th that's not ideal. Once again, all of these things on their own, not a big deal. But as this stuff keeps racking up, like for instance, uh, all stages of credit card delinquency, the 30, 60, 90 days past due, rose to the highest level uh, since it's been recorded, um, being they started recording that data in 2012, uh, this last That's quarter. Not. Yeah, it's only, it's only like 11 years. Um, yeah. So, you know, not ideal. It is also the fourth quarter. You are also expected to have higher delinquency rates. It's just higher than it has been previously. Um, okay. The thing that I'm looking at this coming week is this. Okay, so... NVIDIA and certain like five companies, Meta, Microsoft, uh, Google, Apple, they have all been floating the market so hard. Like the, the, mm -hmm. the amount that the queues are up are almost directly because of those five stocks. We've done multiple videos on that. I'm not going to rehash it. It's, it's, it's obvious, right? Yeah. It is theorized that we're in a, a new PC cycle, okay, uh, starting okay. like last quarter. Taiwan Semiconductor, if they don't beat could be a huge blow to those five stocks. Mainly, NVIDIA would be the biggest one, obviously, because it's a it would be a direct problem. And the other ones yeah. are more indirect. Um, if they don't beat, we could be looking at a little bit of a weird situation, or at least meet, right? If they, for some reason, like underdo what everyone was thinking, this could be a little bit of a red flag, and the market is not going to respond well. Let's Let's go with that. You know what I, I picture the entire time you were talking about that? I picture one of those scenes from Looney Tunes where Wile E. Coyote goes off the edge of the cliff and he's just standing there in the midair with his like little sign that's like waiting to fall. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I mean, you know, you don't want to fear monger too much. I'm, I'm once again, I'm not selling my whole holding, not doing that. I'm just offloading yeah. a little bit. And I'll, okay. I'll, I'll show you which ones. Um, one, I am thinking of offloading a little bit of my Google, just a little bit. I have 125 shares. Um, let me move my face. We did a, a video actually on, there you go, 3.15, or no, 3.3, 3, sorry, March 3rd. Um, I got some shit for this actually, uh, but, oh, oh, well, wrong button, sorry. I said uh, I was going to buy more right here, and I had also done a video previously where we bought right here. Uh, it worked out very well. It's up 17% mm -hmm. in the time that the queues are down 1%, so I was pretty happy about that. Uh, yeah. My Google cost base is like ninety-seven dollars a share, so I'm like, uh, I I love Google. It's the yeah. right price. I I don't want to sell a lot, um, but I I am looking at selling a little bit. But yeah, I got I got shit for this buy when it happened. But 
<laughs> um, I also got crap for this one. This is Schwab. Um, do you remember their whole crash wow. deal? Yeah, the, yeah, the video yeah. bottom right. It, yeah, so March eighteenth, we we did a video. I, I said I was gonna go fairly heavy into into Schwab. I only I put like seven grand or something. I have like one hundred and seventy shares, one hundred seventy five shares. Um, mm -hmm. I am looking at offloading that a little bit. We're at about seventy. Um, my cost basis was, I believe, fifty four, which I did not time well. The lowest was like forty four. So oof. whoever timed yeah. that well, congrats. That's that's pretty awesome. Um, so I am looking at that one, uh, might offload a little bit and bank of America. Hmm. So we did a video of this. We did multiple videos on this one of, of when I was buying, I bought it 27. We're at about 37, 36 right now. Do you have, you have bank of America? I did at one point. I don't anymore. Um, but if you saw, like we did that video about, uh, Charlie Mungers, uh, Munger's kind of Alibaba shares being sold. Yeah. They also were decreasing their Bank of America holdings by about 14%. I want to say. Yeah. I was going to not, I'm not, I didn't want to actively sell Schwab or Bank of America. I was going to do covered calls that I think are going to get called. So to okay. get more premium, because if I'm going to sell, I might as well try to get cover calls. And then if I don't sell, yeah. I still have the shares that I'll just hold on to. Um, that was my plan with those. I did already sell a, about 25 percent of my holding in oxy at 70. Hmm. Okay. um do you remember when we were doing this we were doing these uh puts at 57 55. yeah i'm actually still doing the wheel on oxy <laughs> you are what, what's what, what are you doing so I, i've been selling puts and then when i get assigned shares i've been selling calls um okay so I've, been, I've been trading oxy for the last like year or so still doing the same kind of wheel strategy what's your call at uh, I don't recall currently. I want to say it's either 6250 or 65. It's somewhere in that ballpark. So you're definitely getting called away then. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm the most As recent you... one. I want to say, yeah, yeah all right. I, I, can, I can show you after offline. I forget exactly off the top of my head, but I, I traded it numerous times in this like high fifties to low sixties range. Yeah. I, I did about three and I, I did the same thing. I wanted to own Oxy, but I, I was greedy. So I wanted a little bit of money for buying it. So I did, I did 58 puts to try to get called when we hit this level. Um, I have now 225 shares. I sold at 67, 69 and 70, uh, 25 each. I'm looking at just like another 25 shares, just offloading just a bit. This is, um, this is not part of the video. I just want to show you how big of a mistake I made. <laughs> um, so I, I bought AMD at $92 and I was like, all right, I think it's going to go a lot higher. Can you see my mouse? Yeah. Okay. So right here is where NVIDIA started going crazy. Uh -huh. Um, well, I guess crazy is relative. Well, they, they were going crazy for like a weird amount of time, but we have this huge spike and it had nothing to do with the stock at all. Mm-hmm. I should have sold when we hit like 200. I didn't because I was too afraid to not have any exposure to AI. But this is this is my biggest mistake of the year is holding on to it when it should not have been that high. There's no reason AMD should have been that high. Yeah, I know. But you start playing that game and like, yeah, you know, you're going to end up selling uh, your meta shares at 200 or whatever it was. Do you remember what was the price you ended up selling your meta shares at? I, well, I didn't. I had a limit order at 84 and it never got. Uh, picked at 86 oh, but I, okay. I sold I some at 250 but i bought them back at 300 okay yeah i mean that's that's the problem is that you're still predicting the future there and you, ne you never yeah. know really how high it's gonna go and this whole offloading thing I, I i get the idea but like i forget the exact number but it's something like if you miss like the 10 best like days of the, yeah. the stock market year you lose like 70 percent of the gains so that's why i i'm choosing not to do anything like that if anything, if we get a significant sell-off, I may increase my contributions to my like index fund uh, retirement accounts. That's kind of my more my thought process there. Well, if we get a, if we get a sell-off, I have money aside to put into it. So yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not I'm not trying to stay out. I just I think I think things are looking a little over over the top right now in certain sectors. Um, I don't know if I'm going to pull the trigger on Google because I'm, I'm, I really like that stock. But that is what I'm looking at. I, there is a little bit of fear in the market. There's a lot of weird things happening. Um, yeah, that's where we're at. Let us know what you guys think, if you guys are adding or not adding. Yeah. After the whipsaw and we saw this week, it makes good sense to kind of think about it from that perspective. All right, guys. Let's, uh, let us know what you think down in the comments below.